مخلوف Dear Distinguished Guests, Colleagues, Deans of Academy of Liberal Arts and the School of Continuing Education, Nile Tissel President, Conference Co-Chairs, Sponsors, Committee Members, Participants and Attendees. It gives me a great pleasure to welcome you, to welcome you here today to the 25th Nile Tissel Annual Conference hosted by EUC. In, on behalf of the American University in Cairo and myself, I would like also to welcome Minister of Education and Technical Education, Dr. Tariq Shawi, who is going to be joining us very soon. Dr. Shawi was a former EUC professor and the Dean of School of Sciences in the, and the Engineering. He's a member of the EUC community, and it's always a pleasure and honor to have him participate in our events. I would like to give special thanks to the School of Continuing Education and to the Academy of Liberal Arts for the tremendous support they have provided as host, and to the conference organizing committee, whose members have put together this engaging conference with a wide, with a wide variety of sessions to meet the needs of educators with diverse needs and expectations, specifically in this COVID situation. We are also very fortunate to have the support of great cadre of professors, sponsors, and publishers from whom you will definitely learn a great deal. Today, EUC is in its second century of an impressive history of support for professional development and quality of education. In our mission to develop lifelong learning skills and be the center of creating knowledge that advances students' learning experience, we have hosted many conferences related to education that draw academics and professionals from all disciplines to, to share and exchange the latest research and development in their fields. We hope to support and encourage the, uh, those who pursue new ideas, research endeavors, and creative thinking, and are, and are eager to share their knowledge and expertise in such enriching forums. In our world today, educators and educational institutions are experiencing a new reality with the ongoing pandemic critical global issues, and persistent economic and social problems. Educators' role is to look beyond the classroom and the traditional learning practices and build in their students' skills for addressing unscripted problems that cross boundaries of disciplines and careers. Every day, we need to approach the design of our learning environment with creativity and versatility. This has been understood even more as we all adjust to working and teaching online. Every crisis presents an opportunity. Technology and innovation have un un ensured an entire world to of opportunity into our classrooms, raising questions about the need of balancing tradition with the innovation and change. As the pandemic ends soon, we all hope, the question will be, what changes permanently and for the better? Those here at this conference will play a key role in answering the, that question and defining our new era of opportunity. The theme of the conference, Digitalize, Globalize, reflects this new reality where educators must ensure that their teaching practices prepare students to harness constant change and unpredictable needs. Today's program, promises interesting discussion on quality teaching methods and effective learning, reflection and innovation, process and product. The sessions are relevant and timely for 21st century education. Amid the constantly engaging tides in education and current challenges, it is important to remember that focusing on individual students' need is timeless. Designing a climate that allows for diverse learners to achieve growth and develop motivation for lifelong learning will be our one constant mission. With this vision, I leave you to enjoy the conference, engage in discussion, share insights, and make connections for future projects. Thank you for being the people on whom the world depends for inspiration and creativity. Once again, I welcome you all to EUC, our hub of excellence in teaching and the, to the 25th Nile Tissel Conference. Thank you. 
Thank you very much, Dr. Ihab, for your opening remarks. We do appreciate uh, the AUC support to the conference. Without AUC support, we wouldn't have done this conference. Uh, now I would like to introduce uh, Dr. Ali Shoaib, the Associate Dean for Instructional Affairs at the School of Continuing Education at the American University in Cairo. Thank you, Amira. Dear Nile TESOL members and conference attendees, colleagues and conference organizers. It gives me a great pleasure to welcome you today. Unfortunately, Dean James Ketterer could not be with us to celebrate the 25th Nile TESOL conference held virtually for the first time. Over the years, Nile TESOL has proven to be so pivotal to all English language teaching professionals in Egypt and the region. It has proven to be a very enriching and professionally rewarding communication and learning venue that teachers look forward to learning more and more from and aspire to present in its various sessions and successful discussions. This works perfectly with the School of Continuing Education's mission and how it always contributes to developing teachers' personal and per professional skills whether face-to-face -face or online, to enable them to sustain and overcome the current challenges in their profession as in life. Of course, organizing a virtual conference of this size does not happen without numerous people's dedication and collaborative work, all of whom volunteer their time and effort to serve and enhance the English language teaching profession. These include the Nile TESOL Board of Directors, conference organizing committee and the School of Continuing Education logistic and administrative team. Much appreciation and gratitude to all efforts in keeping the American University in Cairo and the School of Continuing Education always a hub for professional development and career enhancement opportunities. I would also like to extend a special thank you to our esteemed partners and conference sponsors. Their contributions and support enabled us to hold such as an excellent and prestigious virtual conference. Our thanks and appreciation go to International Language Bookshop, American Regional English Language Office, the British Council, Sphinx, York Press, Pearson, MM Publications, and Seeds United Arab Emirates. I strongly encourage everyone to attend their sessions to learn more about their offerings and to keep them in mind for your teaching needs throughout the coming year. Thank you all for attending. I wish you a very enjoyable and beneficial conference. Thank you very much, Dr. Alia. Uh, we would uh, now like to welcome Dr. Reda Shimi, Dean of Undergraduate Studies and the Academy of Liberal Arts and the director of the core curriculum. Welcome, Dr. Ed. You're... Okay, sorry. Thank you, Sanet. Uh, dear colleagues, it gives me great pleasure to welcome you today to this first virtual Nile TESOL conference. I want to thank the School of Continuing Education for their support always of this great event also my ALA colleagues on the conference organizing committee, sponsors, publishers, and language teachers who make possible such valuable coming of minds to discuss issues that concern all of us. This is always one of my favorite conferences. It takes me to my early years in a, as an educator where I made my first ever professional representation. In those days, the conference was much smaller and of course in person and the technology consisted of overhead projectors and photocopying machines for handouts. True to technology, of course, these devices also consistently failed at important moments. Today, I'm really proud to see how far the conference has come and how the content, while focusing on newer technologies and digitization, still targets our timeless goals as educators. We still want to inspire students and help them become active agents in their learning and to bring about their intellectual growth. Our ultimate mission is still to empower students for success that will bring about their own professional and personal fulfillment. 
the events of this year have brought upon every one of us immeasurable challenge in every possible way. As the pandemic runs its course, educators in particular are being tested in their capacities for adaptation, transformation, and innovation. Overnight, we found that our tried and tested strategies for effective teaching could no longer serve our students in the ways that we have been used to. We've had to swiftly rethink our entire teaching approach with no pre-configured plan to guide us. We've had to reflect very deeply on our priorities and address issues of equity, well-being, safety, privacy, motivation, mental health, all while continuing to be upbeat and excited and very engaging in our virtual classrooms. We are tasked, tasked with it, restoring a sense of normal to lives that have been disrupted beyond what we have ever known. We've also discovered that teacher well being is connected to being with our students, and that connection and community are more important than the content we teach in our classrooms. We've had to unlearn and relearn our professions which we thought we had long mastered. And those of us who are parents have learned that no matter how excellent we are as teachers in our workplaces, our very sophisticated and creative approaches mean nothing when we are teaching our own children at home. While these conditions have challenged, challenged us in every way, it's been refreshing and truly transforming to find ourselves in a situation where we have little experience and we have to rebuild ourselves to deliberately respond to what we care about the most, the well-being and success of our students. With students removed from our physical classrooms, it's more important than ever to be in a constant state of attunement to their needs. While designing instructional activities that will extend cognitive skills, we have to keep sight of every individual student. At AUC, our liberal arts mission calls on us to place the student at the center of the learning process and steer away from the idea of a one size fits all curriculum. One of the important lessons of this crisis is that the only way we will get through is to collectively commit to this mission. We know from research in educational psychology that students bring to their classrooms, not just their academic selves, but their understandings about how they relate to others and their personal selves, their entire repertoire of past and present experiences, their beliefs, interests, fears, dreams, and vulnerabilities. The key to bringing about successful learning is to engage the whole student and draw on their capacities for growth. Our role of edu as educators every day, but especially in this teaching year, is to validate our students' capacity to learn. If they can succeed in their goals within this crisis, they will create powerful personal narratives about their abilities for resilience and perseverance when faced with adversity or crisis. How we help them navigate this today will have a lasting impact on their sense of self-efficacy and preparedness for life. The theme of digitize and globalize invites us to reflect on the unique educational impacts of the pandemic and build on some of the opportunities it presents to us. Digital technologies have enabled us to remain connected beyond what was ever possible, even in our physical classrooms. This shared global crisis is good ground for developing one of the important values of a liberal art education, global citizenship the feeling that the same issues and interests impact all of us and that we all share the responsibility for addressing them. It is also a good opportunity to develop an understanding of issues of inequity, access and diversity that always impact educational achievement. The sessions held today and tomorrow touch upon many aspects of these complex and important learning and teaching interactions. I hope you enjoy these valuable professional exchanges and continue to reflect upon how we can best reach our students. I hope you enjoy the conference. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Reda. These are very inspiring words for educators nowadays. And thank you for sharing them with us. Uh, now I'd like to welcome the ninth CISA president, Dr. Reda Abul Hassan, 
who has also been very supportive of our conference and organizing the conference, especially this year. Dr. Rede, the floor is yours. Thank you, Amira. Uh, dear fellow Nile Tiesel Conference attendees and colleagues, I welcome you all to the 25th Nile Tiesel Annual Conference. This year, we celebrate the Silver Jubilee of Nile Tiesel in extraordinary circumstances. With the COVID-19 pandemic changing the face of the world, we all had to adjust to this new reality where we are unable to meet physically the same way we used to during the past 24 years. However, with the efforts of the dedicated, creative and skillful team of the Nile Tiesel Conference Organizing Committee and with the support of the AUC School of Continuing Education, here we are meeting virtually to celebrate another year of achievements and to prove that our true strength lies in our passion to help each other. This year, the theme of the conference, Digitize, Globalize, reflects the current global reality and needs. As I look back at this year, I feel so proud of how Niall Tiesel was able to meet the challenges of this new reality by going digital, starting to connect with Tieselers virtually inside Egypt and globally as well. When the coronavirus pandemic hit the world and put most of its countries under lockdown, the Niall Tiesel team stood up to the challenge and was able to change it into a blessing. They were able to continue serving their fellow ELT professionals, both locally and worldwide, overcoming all the obstacles brought by the pandemic and hosting an unprecedented number of events and attendees. The nine currently active special interest groups under the leadership of both Dr. Shirin Omar and Mr. Samir Omar were able to hold 38 webinars and six mini courses with the help of 95 esteemed volunteer speakers. The six events were attended by over 2,200 participants from all over the world. The six team has also taken part in some national, regional and international events and conferences, teaming up with sister associations and affiliates like TESOL Kuwait and IATEFL. In addition, the Professional Development Committee, led by the amazing Hanat Hamis, was able to conduct two face-to-face -face events in the Egyptian cities of Tanta and Ashmoon, and to run 18 online events, including eight coffee nights, four debates, four charades, and one EFL Talks event. The PD team made us all proud as they received an invitation to carry out a rerun of one of the charade events at the TESOL International Affiliate Events in 2020. The International Relations Committee under Samir Omara has been able to, be, to stay actively engaged with Nile Tiesel's sister associations across the globe this year, signing memoranda of understanding with Tiesel Libya, Tiesel Kuwait, and Mex Tiesel, as well as largely cooperating with Africa Elta. Moreover, through the International Relations Committee, a large number of free Tiesel IATEFL and Africa Tiesel memberships were distributed among Nile Tiesel members. The Communications Committee, led by the enthusiastic Mustafa Yusuf, has been also playing a great role this year, connecting us to our 29,000 members on Facebook, whereas the website was upgraded and updated regularly by the dedicated Mrs. Reda Seket. It has been a busy year for the Nile Tiesel team indeed. I would like to give a big thank you to the conference organizing committee, led by Dr. Sanat Mahlouf and Ms. Amira Salem. Without your efforts, we wouldn't have been here today. I also express my appreciation to the partners and sponsors of this conference, the International Language Bookshop, ILB, Sphinx, Pearson, York Press, MM Publications, Seeds from the United Arab Emirates, the British Council, and the Regional English Language Office at the US Embassy. I strongly recommend that you attend their special sessions. I welcome all our wonderful international and local presenters who will provide us with an outstanding opportunity to learn and gain new skills by sharing their knowledge and experiences. As usual, the Nile Tiesel Conference will provide you with a variety of sessions to choose from. So read the program book carefully and create your own schedule according to your needs and interests. The conference is your chance to develop professionally and take home new creative ideas, up-to-date information, and eye-opening findings from the latest research in the ELT field. This year, 
Our General Assembly will not be held during the conference. However, we will be carrying it out virtually. Thus, I encourage you to follow our news on the website, www.niletiesel.org, on Twitter, and on our official Facebook page to be able to participate in the voting on the revised version of the Nile Tiesel Constitution and in casting ballots at the annual elections. This year, two new members will join the board of directors. So I encourage you all to be there and to make sure you support your preferred candidates. On a personal note, I would like to thank all my predecessors who have inspired and guided me. A sincere word of appreciation and gratitude is due to Alexander Luko, Amira Salema, Umayma Ayoub, and Muhammad Khalil. Their advice and continuous guidance have been invaluable. Mrs. Hanan Ferris, please accept my deepest thanks for everything you have done. Mr. Samir Omara, you have been an amazing support and an exemplary president-elect. Congratulations on your new role as a president of Nile Tiesel. I wish you all the best. Today, as I witness the celebrations of 25 years with Nile Tiesel, and as an outgoing president, I'm obliged to everyone who had voted for me five years ago when I first became part of this great association. It has been such an honor to be a member of this extraordinary team and to have had the opportunity to learn from everyone. It has been a great privilege to serve the ELT community and throughout the coming year in my role as past president, I will continue to be committed to Nile Tiesel and its mission by assisting the advice and advising the new president and president-elect. I hope you will all have a wonderful time at this year's Nile Tiesel virtual conference. So celebrate with us. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Reda. A very, very inspiring speech. Uh, and uh, thank you for uh, all the thanks that you uh, mentioned. Uh, today, I would like to address uh, my colleagues, fellow teachers, professional educators from around the world. And this message is from Amira Salama and myself. Today, we welcome you to the Nile TESOL 2021 annual conference as we celebrate its 25th Silver Jubilee. We also welcome you all to our very first Nile TESOL virtual conference. Although many of us believe that the global pandemic can rarely bring with it something positive or rewarding, we have been determined to make good use of the challenges faced by all of us, whether locally or globally, with respect to teaching and learning. We have been doing our best trying to cope with the changes we have to make in our classes, with our students, and in our lives as we learn to coexist with the COVID-19 pandemic. We meet here today to celebrate not only the Nile Tiesel Silver Jubilee, but also our resilience and perseverance during the pandemic. As we all strive to offer our best to our students over the last year, we on the conference organizing committee have been working hard to offer you the best conference experience and make it rewarding for all of us. The American University in Cairo and its School of Continuing Education have always been the backbone of this conference. And without their support and help, we could not have been able to organize this vir virtual conference today. Switching from a face-to-face -face conference to a virtual event has indeed opened the door to many professionals in the field who have willingly agreed to share their expertise and wealth of knowledge for all of us to benefit from. And for that, we are truly grateful. We received more than 120 proposals from around the world, and we have tried to select the best to offer you an excellent conference experience today and tomorrow. We have proposals from Argentina, Brazil, Uruguay, Senegal, Moldova, France, Nigeria, Ukraine, Greece, the US, Algeria, the UK, the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and Turkey, to list but a few. Such professional collaboration of true sharing and caring from dedicated professionals around the world has internationalized Nile Tiso Conference over the years and made it one of the biggest language teaching and learning conferences in the region. Today, we speak before you in hope that we offer you a truly enriching and rewarding conference experience as you navigate the multitude of talks we have selected for all of you to benefit from. 
The conference theme of Digitize, Globalize is a true reflection of where we are today and where we all need to go in the near and far future with respect to teaching and learning. As global citizens whose lives have been intertwined with technology and tools, platforms and sites, web pages and resources, online games and assessment, webinars, podcasts and online meetings, we cannot but align our teaching with our new and expanding digital environments. Today, as we speak before you, we are, there are still millions of children worldwide who are deprived of their basic right of receiving an education. Therefore, we as professionals in the field must never lose sight of the added responsibilities we have towards the less fortunate and the needy. As we shift from a face-to-face -face mode of teaching and learning to a virtual one, we need to remember the voiceless who are awaiting inclusivity into our world of education. Therefore, our conference is welcoming everyone from all walks of life to listen to speakers, participate in the question and answer sessions, share opinions, learn from others, exchange ideas, and have an open, rewarding, and constructive conversation that adds to our personal and professional growth, not only as educators, but as humans sharing this globe. As we have digitized our books, resources, sites, audio recordings, visual resources, exams and games, and everything else in education, we have an added responsibility towards those who are less fortunate and still seek the basics of an education. As we share what we have learned in the fields, we are also hoping that those who have less access to resources and tools will be given a chance. Therefore, the role of educators today is expanding and taking on new forms and added responsibilities. Conscious of this goal, the organizing committee has decided to offer the conference free of charge this year. We carefully planned the conference and crafted all its details to reach out to as many attendees as possible. Having said this, it is time to let you enjoy the conference, discover the new ideas, make new connections, and share with colleagues your knowledge and expertise. Make the best out of this event and remember to make use of what you have gained, especially with those who need it the most. Thank you from Amira Salama and Sana Makhlouf. Thank you, Ms. Sana, for uh, reading and sharing our letter to the audience. It has been a great pleasure working with you during this uh, challenging time, indeed. So, uh, although we miss seeing all of you face to face at uh, the state of the art campus at AUC, the pandemic, as Dr. Alia shared, did not stop us from communicating, holding the conference, and celebrating the Nile Kiesel uh, Silver Jubilee. Uh, to have a great conference experience, I would like to share with you some housekeeping announcements. Uh, the conference includes a variety of sessions. Each session has its own webinar ID and passcode. You will find this information in the program book that is available on the conference website. Each time slot includes five concurrent sessions in five different Zoom webinar rooms. Please note that the webinar room capacity is limited, so make sure you log in on time to secure a place. The concurrent sessions are not live streamed on Facebook, only the plenary talks are. Uh, so please make sure that you can log in on time so you can secure your place uh, in the session that you would like to attend. Also, uh, we would like to invite you to fill out the Nile Tiesel membership form uh, to renew your membership and join Nile Tiesel if you are not already a member. The membership is for free and uh, you will get a chance to get the, the conference recordings after the conference ends if you fill out this form. We hope you enjoy a great conference experience. Thank you for joining us for this opening. We are going to end the webinar now uh, to go to the next session, which will be Dr. Tariq Shawi's session that will start at 2 p.m. Cairo time. Uh, thank you again, and we hope to see you in other sessions at the conference. Thank you all.